Meet Higgy. He's a chimpanzee at Lion Country Safari. He just turned 48 years old. He's the alpha male of his troop, and as the dominant, he can take anything he wants from the others, including their heart and diabetic medications that he doesn't need. <laughs> so Lion Country Safari had to figure out a way using a frisbee to keep him to stay put as they receive their medicine. Um, so what's going to happen today at Lion Country is we're just going to showcase a little bit of some of the positive reinforcement training that we work on with one of our chimpanzee groups. Um, specifically, it's target training with Higgy, this group's alpha male. Um, part of being an alpha male means that you're in charge of the group, you have to maintain order in the group, but it also comes with a couple perks, one of which is that um, you can take anything from anybody that you want. So generally, he knows the routine at this point. Um, I get on the boat with the chimp keepers who are coming through now. You can hear the chimps are getting excited because they know what the that means. <laughs> yep. Um, so Higgy will see me get on the boat. I usually hold up the frisbee, which he knows means we're going to do target training. I'll toss the frisbee either somewhere and ask him to move towards it, but sometimes if he's sort of stations himself, I'm fine with that as well. Um, and then He'll just sit and he'll pick up the frisbee. Sometimes he'll wave it at me like, hey, I have it. Dr. Tina and Kat take out their boat to get a little closer, but still maintain Ready? a safe distance. Chimps at Lion Country Safari live on island habitats. And since they don't swim, the water creates a natural and contactless boundary. Oh, look at that throw. Good boy, Biggs. I've gotten pretty good at throwing in the last couple of months. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy, that was terrible. No, Bree, that's not yours. Bree, Bree. Hang on, Biggs. Danny. Good boy, Higgy. Sabrina. Bree. Sabrina. Focus. Good girl. Good boy, Higgs. Oh, nope. I know, Jen. Hang on. No, oh, we'll stay here. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Good boy, Biggles. So it seems like it's a simple behavior, but getting Higgy to sit there and not take what's rightfully his, basically, from his group members is actually, it took us a couple of months of work. Um, but he loves to do it. As you saw, he came down, was happy to sit. <laughs> it's a pretty simple behavior from his standpoint. But for us to train it, it took a little while, especially because we've never trained on an island before. This is the very first time we've ever trained from a distance. Um, and like I said, it's been really beneficial across the board. When we were there, we witnessed a lover's quarrel. Sabrina is an estrus, which means she's super fertile, and Higgy wants her close by, but he's not getting the hint. <laughs> As you watch, you'll see them fight, then make up. <laughs> Higgy's just chasing Sabrina. Is it like in school he really dislikes her? Uh, she is still figuring him out, I like to say. Mm -hmm. She's like, excuse me, out of the way. <laughs> yeah, see, if she was smarter about Higgy, she would know that actually what she needs to do is walk towards him and be deferential. <laughs> and instead she screams and runs and that is, it's like a trigger for him. I mean, if you run from any chimp, they're going to chase you. So Look it's, he's just like beside himself. Yeah, if she would, at this point, walk towards him, it would be over, but she's not good about, that's what I said, where she's still figuring out how to live with Higgy. Is she new to the group? Uh, not, she's been in there for like two years now and she's still figuring it out. He's giving her all the signs of like, just come here. <laughs> I get frustrated with Sabrina, honestly, because I shouldn't know how to live with Higgy better than she does after living with him for two years, but. Higgy is very, um, so another one of the perks of being alpha, see, so he's saying, just get up here. He's scratching her bum. Well, he's, he's trying to convince her to come up so he can check her out. And now he's reassuring her by giving her his back. He's like, we're fine, just don't run from me. <laughs> so he's giving her her back 
like as a sign of affection? It's reassurance. She can hug him. <laughs> and now he's hugging her. Aww. Yeah. It's like a love story. Yeah, so with chimps, aggression serves a, ser a purpose in the group. Um, a lot of people don't understand that or know that. Um, aggression always leads to bonding time and grooming time and apologies and making up. It sounds funny to us as humans, <laughs> but for chimps it works. It's just... I think there's a lot of humans that do that. It's their natural history, and so it's very natural. <laughs> like I was saying, one of the perks about being alpha is you get breeding rights as well. And so one of the things she hasn't quite figured out is that when she is in estrus, he wants her next to him at all times. <laughs> and so when she does that running away, it makes him very, very upset. There's so much more to learn about these chimpanzees. So we have a more in-depth interview with Dr. Tina, including her work in Africa to help save the chimpanzees. Find it at WPTV.com and just click the Taste and See tab.